Now, our next guest, Lucas White. Lucas, Lucas, are you there? Oh, all right, mate. How are we? All right, going good. Uh, a lot of dark magic in the air. Kind of uh, troubling to come to this class and uh, realize there's some voodoo magic floating around. Is that right? Is that what I'm getting from you? Well, it is magical, and there is an occult dark element, but I don't necessarily know if we would classify it as voodoo. Uh, oh, all right, all right. I just, uh, yeah, the- I was... I'm, I'm not surprised. You know, I come to a dark web seminar. I expect nothing less. Well, there's a lot of, there's a lot. Sorry. Yeah, you're right, Michael. No, you 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 picked the right tack. I was just going off on a tangent that didn't really matter. No. You go ahead. Right. Was this well, uh, was this tagged as a dark web seminar <laughs> online somewhere? All right, kind of. Well, you know, the internet's all the dark web if you think about it. Because that are would you, explain tonight's show. Are you accessing this through a Tor server? Well, you, well, you, you you caught me right on the tail there, Tom Parrott. Uh, yeah, uh, I was on a, a little tour, uh, going out further from, uh, you know, Tolomaku and uh, out here in Australia. We can only get Wi-Fi in certain areas, and oh, I don't like to affiliate myself with the internet, but, you know, business is business. He's business. using the tour server, Michael. That means he's on a private connection. He can access it through the dark web. I got a quick shout out to my VPN. Uh, they said if I give them a shout out, I might get a discount on their next server. Oh, I don't know what it means, but you know, they sounded like good guys to me. All right. That sounds. You got to understand, Lucas. Yep. The right. places we've been in the last 40 minutes, juxtaposed with a innocent plug for a vpn service uh all right it makes it hard for us to know how to recalibrate back to back to the the normal world you know so we apologize for that hiccup there but how can we well this is the new normal it's all right so what do you got for us uh uh, do you need help selling what can we do to assist you well let me ask you uh gentlemen here do you like the wind through my uh, hair. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I miss I miss a cool breeze. It's one of the things I miss most about meat space. Well, if you uh, if you like the wind, would you like to know when it's about to come? Are you selling us a service that tells us when a wind will come? Right. I present to you the latest in wind chime technology. All right. Oh my, oh my lord. That's, it is a wind chime made uh, from my favorite didgeridoo that I wrestled from the nice little wallaby. You know, he came up to my front yard and I was like, you know what? We're going to hang this up high, but that would look silly. So I fashioned into a nice little, <laughs> you know, wind chime here. You wrestled it from a, a young wallaby who had this didgeridoo huh? on its person. On yep. its wallaby. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, it right in his wallet bee, if you will. Oh. It's like what stealing a, a didgeridoo from a wallaby. Uh, Lucas, well, you, right, yeah. you made that yourself, so you are an artisan. Right. Made it with this right here. What do you call that? Uh, Betsy. Oh, that's... My little Betsy right here. Uh, the, 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 the media will say that we always call it a knife. Uh, that is not right. We give it nice little names because we care for it. Saved my life many times. That, now, was, igno- that was ignorance on my part. Thank you for not indulging it. No, no, no. not at all. Not at all. I, I'm here for you as much as you are here for me. You know? So, uh, uh, Lucas, I got... makes the cream one. Yes. Lucas, I got okay. a question for you. So, if that was your beloved didgeridoo, why did you chop it up and turn it into a wind chime? Do you feel like it served you better, or are you trying to cash in on on some sort of a branding opportunity? Well, uh, that and you know, didgeridoos are a lot uh, old technology. So I, uh, I I've downloaded an MP3 of a didgeridoo playing, and I play that while I can tell when the wind is coming, and even better, you know, uh, this didgeridoo here. It's, it just 
doesn't come with it. So that's why I reached out to you, you guys on the dark web to see if, uh, if I could throw in a little bonus with the didgeridoo. Uh, I am willing to throw in a wild animal of your choice. All right. So wild animal and a didgeridoo, but it's actually a wind chime. So it's like a didgeridoo. We got to assemble ourselves, but the wild animal. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, Michael. Um, I mean, we we know the policies on eBay about selling live animals. It didn't really, didn't really go no. so hot. There's workarounds. Yeah. If you drape, yeah. the, if you drape a, now an you're animal, speaking my language there. Drape an animal I, in a San Antonio Spurs jersey, and then dead you sell the jersey. Dead or alive? Me and Betsy, I'm gonna go right out there. About 40 clicks north, and we will find you whatever you want. How do I get started? Now, people the... in the chat were worried about your item being cursed, but Lucas, it seems like you might be a little bit cursed as an individual. <laughs> wow. Well, it's not the first time hearing that. My ex-wife has called me worse. Usually in a horror film, uh, the ghost is a MacGuffin. And the true evil mm -hmm. is uh, whichever man is in the house. Lucas, what? Wow, right. By chance, what was your ex-wife's name? I'd rather not say. Is your ex-wife named? Is your ex-wife named Betsy? Mm, you're very warm. Remind me, How... Tom. <laughs> the... uh, remind you? <laughs> yeah, I want to be a part of this. But. Betsy is the name of Lucas's knife. Betsy. All right, I'm caught up. You caught up? You you with us? You're on the same Mark, speed. So you keep it. You keeping up there, buddy? <laughs> so you had an ex-wife named Betsy. Allegedly. Allegedly. Why you took the word right out of my mouth? Now <laughs> we're up. We're. We're on a road Guild that mystery. diverges into two paths here. All on right. one path, one's guilty, one's not guilty. I mean, ways. we're not we're not prosecutors here, but we are in the business of of Woo! business. Right. All right, yes, her name was Betsy. We are on the dark web, and nothing is legally binding, I imagine. Well, we're not we're not on the dark web. This broadcasts to a lot of different <laughs> platforms. You access this through the dark web, but that's just because you can access the regular internet through a dark web as well. It, it's not all dark shit. Well, good thing my name isn't really Lucas White. I bet you that's not even your real Australian voice you're using. Oh, there's a little, little British in there, right? Yeah. There's a little bit of well, there's a little bit of everything in there. Oh, well, it's a little, it's a little, uh, you know what? What do they call that in the states? A little uh, smorgish board. They call that sweet. Oh. What, he, Michael? I, Listen. you know, Michael's the one who's got experience with selling animals on the internet. So, Michael, I'm gonna let you finish this one off because we're right. we're almost out of time, Lucas, for you. But Michael, I know uh -oh. has some experience in the in the in the selling animals department. So I'm gonna let you take right. this one with this right. uh, with this wife killer. So how dare you, allegedly, uh, Lucas? I'm gonna call you Lucas since that's mm -hmm. the only name we've confirmed with you. Please right. tell me, Go please ahead. tell me that your ex-wife was very mean to animals or children. Because I want to have a scenario where there is some way to proceed with the knowledge of you committing this murder that doesn't mm -hmm. make everyone here feel like they were part of something that was unfortunate. So there must be some, uh, some heinous evil thing that your ex-spouse did that well, superseded uh, murdering. Uh, for, the, for the record, yes. Okay. That's all I needed. Nope. No details. As long as all you right. say yes, we're good. Okay, so our consciences are now clear. Front. You did the all right thing. And ready to go. So you... 
you're going to want to get a San Antonio Spurs jersey. You're going to drape it over whatever wild animal that your buyer selects. Why? Well, I, uh, I can get any animal uh, as long as we pay in Bitcoin. You're, you're evil. Well, are you I'm sorry. With I was I was trying to save you, but you're evil, Lucas. All right. You're we the, can do cash. You're evil, my friend. And no Sometimes, mask yeah. in a purple glowing box is going to appropri appropriate you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So uh, let's get back to my wind chime. Uh, well, what, uh, what do you think I can get this? Pretty boy for maybe uh throw in you know a nice little barracuda too or maybe even a, a nice kangaroo that I've gotten you know tied out back what the what are we talking about I'm gonna give you a website it's better than eBay all right well, what's that it's uh Earth's Most Wanted dot gov I want you to go on there, and I want you to type in your current uh, location. That's how you register for a selling account on this website. You said dot .com? Dot .gov. Dot .gov. Oh, right. yeah, so many of them. Is. Dot .gov. And, and what does that make? Where, where does that take me? Do they take Bitcoin or cash? Uh, they will take all Bitcoin or cash you have on your persons. Uh very good very good and will that you feel like this wind chime here would net me enough money to get to the states i, I would love to uh come to the great us of a what are you doing hold on i'm looking in the chat here and it says this is tom please i fear i'm being kept prisoner i thought this was bing no don't 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 say anything out loud michael i'm trying to oh i think he's gonna hear me I'll see you tonight, Tom. No. Wait. Oh Michael. my God. You gave away my position now. What? Tom. Fill me in. Catch me up. I want to be a Gates. part of this. Look, Bill Gates is trying to keep, I feel like Bill Gates is trying to keep me prisoner in here. I don't know if he's as benevolent as we thought he might have been out front at first. I feel like he's monitoring a lot of stuff that I say and do in here. You know, I'm not sure how safe it is for me to even say okay. this right now. I'm trying to find a way out, and you got somebody clearly on the other line who's versed in the dark web, trying to pay you in Bitcoin. He seems like he's out to get yeah, – he, se he seems like he has a way to get inside of this – what I thought was a secure system, Michael. Okay, well, you right? left me all alone with him. He was yeah, talking about I'm murdering women, which I know this isn't a comedic seminar, but in any context, that's hard to kind of pass off on stage. Well, you know what, Michael, I told you we need to wrap up because we are going over time and Fine. you got to figure out a way okay. to get out of our guest. All right. Well, I don't want to. I don't want this to ruin the mood for our final student. So let's try and keep it. By well, the way, I, I do thank uh, Lucas for being on our show. <laughs> <laughs>